，训练远距离，超凡缩写力。这是超凡远距学员英语学习的日常。Hello, hello. Welcome to Topic Master this week. When it comes to the end of a year, our topic will always be the same. The theme is reflection and resolution. Reflection means a review of the old year. Resolution means the expectation you have for the new year. Your expectation is your hope for the good things in the new year, for a better new year. New year resolution is very important. We can call it a plan for the coming new year, so that in the beginning of the year we have already seen the goal. The destination, the dream that we hope to see right in front of us. You want to fulfill your goal. You want to reach your destination. You want to realize your dream. There are only four questions to help you review the past year and set goals for the coming new year. Let's quickly take a look. The first question: What is the best thing that happened to you in the last year? And how does it affect your future? The best thing might be that you pass an exam, or you enter a good school, or you get promotion, or you achieve something that is so hard, so challenging. For example, you climb mountains and you get to the top of the mountains, or maybe you finish a marathon run. All this can be a good thing that can affect you in your future. Because you get more confidence, and you trust yourself, and you believe that you can do something that is bigger, larger, more difficult, and so on and on. Try to find out the one you most want to share with others. Question two is the opposite of question one. You must talk about the worst thing that happens to you in the last year, and how does it affect your future? For example, you fail a test. You didn't do well on an exam. You failed to get promotion, or your startup failed. You didn't finish the marathon run, and so on and on and on. Try to talk about it and how it affects your future. It doesn't mean that the failure affects you in a negative way. You probably think that the failure affects you in a positive way, and that is also good. And try to find out the failure that you experienced this year. And talk about it. For question three, talk about the thing that you look forward to in the coming new year, and how that experience may affect you. For example, you may want to enter a graduate school, or you want to take a long trip to the South Pole, or you want to build more muscles, and so on and on. Or maybe you are single and you hope to find your Miss Right or Mr. Right in the new year. Try to find out what is the thing you most expect to see happening and talk about it. Share it with others. Just speak out loud your dream, and then you are more likely to realize your dream. The last question is to talk about your goals. Maybe it's a Short-term goals, maybe it's mid-term goals, or maybe it's a long-term goal, and try to talk about three short-term goals, or you may choose to talk about two mid-term goals. Short-term goals might be realized in a month or in two months, and mid-term goals you probably set it at six months later, and a long-term goal you probably can see. It happen in two years from today or four years from today, and explain why you want to share the goals with others. Okay, these are the four questions for this week, and when it comes to the end of a year, happy master. Well, have you talk about these questions that can help you have a better future? The purpose of having this discussion actually was mentioned earlier. According to a study, when you speak out loud your goal, your dream, then you are more likely to realize your dream. Enjoy Happy Master for this week. 加入超凡远距，成就超凡英语缩写能力。